Welcome to Oracle Hyperion Sessions. My name is Brahma and I have over 20 years of experience with systems. Today, I will walk you through some of the issues I have encountered during the installation of Oracle's latest and greatest version called 11.2. Before that, let me walk you through some of the slides that I have put together for you. Following our Hyperion 11.2 highlights, as you see here, initial release of Hyperion 11.2 supports only Windows operating system. And now Windows 2019 is also supported operating system. Hyperion 11.2 now is enhanced with Fusion middleware 12G, meaning you will have WebLogic 12Cs in the supported matrix for 11.2 and JDK 1.8 is being supported and when you are talking about the databases both Oracle 12.2 and SQL Server 2017 are being supported now and also some of the planning purpose build modules such as workforce planning and capex planning are completely have been removed from Hyperion 11.2 and also EPM Architect has been phased off and Oracle's recommendation is to use Oracle DRM rather than EPM Architect. And also another enhancement is Calculation Manager does not require Adobe Flash anymore. This is another change. And if we move on to the next slide, we have the, an, a table that shows for each and every component or the product how much of the disk space required and how much of the RAM required. So if I quickly go through this, Oracle WebLogic Server requires 500 MB of RAM and HTTP Server would require 1 GB and SBA Server would require 1 GB and the Financial Management HFM requires 4 GB and um, Financial close management would require 4 GB and Hyperion planning would require 2 GB and FDM financial data quality management enterprise edition would require 2 GB as well. Meaning you have to have at least 16 GB of RAM on the server to have a successful installation but the recommendation is to have 32 GB if you want to try out all the products in a single environment. If I move on to the next slide, here are some of the challenges which we will go through in the system are Oracle HTTP server is having an issue and also there is an issue with the virtual memory for paging issues and also there is a change for repository creation utility and also now there is a requirement for Fusion middleware to have a repository to be created using RCU stands for repository creation utility and finally you have to have RCU schema dot properties you have to manually update to make your system successfully to be configured and the finally challenge is you cannot upgrade your existing 11.1.2.4 environment into Hyperion 11.2, you have to have a new server to be procured or acquired. You have to install the fresh version of Hyperion 11.2 and use the LCM lifecycle management to migrate the artifacts from 11.1.2.4 to 11.2. Let me walk you through the Hyperion 11.2 Two installation that I have done on this machine. As you see, all my Oracle Hyperion services are running without having any issue. Now let me go ahead and try if I could open the workspace. BAEPM is my machine name colon 19000 slash workspace. Hit enter and um, this has not rendered any web page. So I just want to do a small test. So let me go ahead and try this workspace manager server on a manager server port 
call 28080 and let me hit enter or this has rendered the web page without having any issue so meaning there is some issue with oracle http server how we are going to ensure the oracle http server runs without having an issue for that we need to manually run the oracle http server open the command prompt change the directory to the http server and issue a command called start component ohs underscore component okay, now it starts reading the domain and it would ask for the node manager password because ohs runs using node manager so let me go ahead and give you the password and you have to see a message called successfully connected to node manager and starting server ohs underscore component meaning now ohs has been started successfully the only prerequisite for this command to be issued here is we have to have the node manager up and running please check ohs node manager is up and running before we issue the start component ohs underscore component to be able to start the oracle http server and let me open the browser and then let's do the test at port number 19000 because ideally this should work without having an issue because just now we have started the http server there you go so this proves that we need to have oracle http server up and running and this won't be automatically up and running just like in earlier versions 11.1.2.4 we have to issue the command this is an issue that i have found out on version 11.2 thank you for watching please subscribe our youtube channel for more videos